right. Let me know. Uh, let me know when we go live here. Okay. What's the? Uh, is the YouTube feed looking good? Guys, we're having a little uh, technical difficulties. I can't see myself, but I'm not sure if you guys can see me yet. Um, but if you can, welcome to LTV Live. Derek, does it look like it's streaming okay? Okay. So shoot, man. I'm not going to be able to see the overlays. So we're going to wing it, baby. I have to go with my notes. Glad I have the uh, iPad out. Um, guys, welcome. You are all on LTB Live right now. This is where we do our unboxing. It's going to be the May unboxing. We're going to do a Bass XL box. So any of you guys that get a Bass box or a Bass XL, make sure you guys have that with you and are ready to follow along. Thank you for joining us. I know that uh, this, for some of you guys, is a family uh, affair that uh, husband and wives are watching this. Uh, father and kids, mother and kids, uh, or just you watch this by yourself in your own room. Thank you guys for tuning in, and thank you for being part of the LTB family. Um, now, this is going to be difficult to do without me being actually to see the, we, me being able to see the overlays, because I got some pictures to show you guys throughout this, but, uh, you know, uh, Derek, make sure you stop me if, uh, if you guys aren't catching up with me, all right? Um, all right, guys. You guys that haven't watched LTB Live before, I'm going to give you guys a quick run a rundown. And for you guys that have, then uh, you know how this routine goes. But uh, Golden Ticket, this is going to be the big thing. This is going to be we're going to be, uh, drawing out a lot of winners off the uh, Golden Ticket numbers. So I'm going to be announcing uh, Golden Ticket winners uh, every 15 minutes through the show. So this show on on Pacific Standard Time started at 6 o'clock. So at 6.15, 6.30, 6.45, and 7 o'clock, we're going to be announcing winners. Uh, and if you don't have a golden ticket, if you uh, aren't a subscriber of Lucky Tackle Box yet, don't worry. We're also going to be asking some trivia questions. So th those people are also going to be winning. So everyone has a chance to actually take away some prizes on LTB Live. Um, also... The grand prize at seven o'clock, the last drawing, we'll be doing a, a bunch of giving away a bunch of boxes at the very end, like we always do. We do a whole lot of prizes at the very end, but also the grand prize will be winning a trip with yours truly uh, out to California. We'll be doing some fishing. So someone is gonna get to come out here with me, uh, probably travel in the motor home, do some fishing on Clear Lake or whatever lake is uh, doing well during that time. And uh, that's either a, a dream come true for some people or uh, a terrible nightmare. Um, so hopefully that, hopefully if it's a nightmare, you're not one of the winners. Uh, hopefully someone appreciates this because I know we will have a lot of fun. It's something that I, I do enjoy giving back. That's why I love doing the Travis box prizes. And that's why I also love, uh, um, doing stuff like this drawings, uh, to, to, for my time, take people out and make sure that I can share my passion and, uh, and enthusiasm out in the water, chasing these green little bass. Um, so Hashtag LTB Live. We love seeing, hearing and seeing from you guys. Um, a lot of you guys have posted in every month. You guys are sharing the pictures of your setup. Um, and however that is, you guys are all sitting on the dining room uh, ta dining room table or on the family couch in the living room. Got it streamed to your, uh, to your TV. We appreciate you guys watching. We appreciate you sending your pictures in, whether it's Instagram or Twitter, Facebook. Just make sure you hashtag LTB Live so we can see how you tune in every month on the 20th and enjoy the show. Um, some other announcements that we've got going on. Uh, we have we, uh, we brought this up last month, and I'm going to tell you again this month, guys. We have our new themed boxes. That's a that's a, the huge change that we're doing in Lucky Tackle Box. So every month, starting next month, there's going to be a theme behind the bass box. So whether you have bass, uh, regular bass, or the bass XL, there's going to be a theme that goes along with it. And in June, the theme is best summer baits. Now, why is this important? Because this gives a this gives a better learning platform for you guys. So with with summertime fishing, it can be extremely challenging. Fish go to they scatter out. Um, some of them go shallow in, in vegetation or under uh, the shade of docks. In the morning, they scatter out and roam. In the evenings, they scatter out and roam. In the wind, they, they stack up against windy banks and feed heavy. Um, or in the heat of the day, they go deep. And they need to be uh, you know, they need deep diving crankbaits or Carolina rigs. So there's so many different uh, options that these fish can be in and so many different patterns to use that a summer box is a fantastic 
way of, of delivering this uh, delivering baits to you guys because now you realize that no matter what these fish are doing, uh, whether they're in grass, under docks, deep water, top water, whatever it is, you're going to have something that fits that type of technique so you can target those type of fish. And uh, the next month after that's going to be top water baits. This is something I'm really excited about. Top water fishing is so much fun and there's so much that goes behind it. When do you throw a popper? When do you throw a buzz bait? When do you throw a frog? When do you throw a walking bait? There is a time and a place for each one of these and there's times that one works significantly better over another one and you've got to know when to throw these and how to throw them and how to change them up and so that's what July is going to be all around so that's your sneak peek into July as well that uh, it's going to be a fun a fun month because it's going to be some crazy top water uh, and we're going to make some pretty cool videos off of that as well now guys if you haven't noticed yet uh, I'm sitting uh, in, in an odd little place right now. Um, you can see behind me, it's it's not the normal uh, Lucky Tackle Box headquarters um, background because uh, normally I fly down to Southern California for LTV Live and we do it out of the Lucky Tackle Box headquarters. And uh, it's a great time for our whole office to get together and, and stream live out of there. Um, this month's a little different because I'm all the way out in Murray, Kentucky. Uh, if anyone watching uh, is from Kentucky, what's up, guys? I am in Kentucky. I love it here. This is my sixth time coming out to Kentucky in the last, I think, four months. And the reason I come out here is because of uh, FLW Live. I do another live show. FLW is a major professional bass circuit. And it's their four-day tournaments on the last two days, so Saturdays and Sundays, um, they do live streaming. So they have cameras actually out on the boats. This, uh, this tournament's out in the Mississippi River in uh, La Crosse, Wisconsin, so way up north. And what happens is the top five uh, the top five anglers have cameras on their boat. It streams back live to the studio here in Murray. And that's where we commentate on the tournament um, throughout the uh, throughout the event. So for any of you guys that are looking for something to do on a Sunday tomorrow morning, um, feel free if... If you could uh, uh, feel free to tune in, flwfishing.com. You'll get to see some live fishing. You'll really get to learn a lot. And I'll be there commentating and, uh, and, and talking to you guys through what's going on. So anyway, that's what I'm doing out here. Uh, some other news, uh, something that's very cool, I'm extremely excited about. And we are in the very beginning stage of this going. It's, it's already moving forward, but we're right at that beginning. And I think Derek has a picture hopefully he's putting up right now. This is the first picture of what's going to be LTV Media. This is a uh, basically a new branch of Lucky Taco Box dedicated to media content, to creating videos, live feeds. So if you guys uh, if you guys already love what we do with the how-to videos, with our live streams, with anything that we do on on uh, social media, uh, you are going to be extremely excited because we are ramping that up. We are dedicating a uh, a large uh, portion of resources to just creating the content, and we're really trying to lead the fishing industry in this uh, side of things. And, uh, and so we're really trying to create a, a fun, uplifting atmosphere in this. We're going to be keeping you in the loop with how we're, uh, how we're decorating it, what games we have. Hopefully, we're going to have some arcade games in there, fishing games, all kinds of cool stuff that when our editors come in, our, our, our collaborators, all these different people that come in to uh, hang out, that they have a positive atmosphere and we create some killer content. Um, so anyway, you guys, uh, I'm going to be asking you guys also uh, down the road on social media and stuff, um, what we should name this place. There's some names floating around, LTB Tank, um, the, uh, the LTB Lab. So, you guys, it's going to be a place where we're creating content, a fun place to be. If you guys have a suggestion, if you have a name that you want us to uh, to uh, consider to, to name our new headquarters for our media content, let me know. Make sure you message me on social media. Um, I'll be posting some pictures that say name this place so you can answer there. But uh, just start thinking about it right now. Um, and then, uh, and then the other thing is our inshore box. I live out in the ocean. That's going to be one of the things I'm going to start making videos on as well that I'm really excited about. The California coastline has got amazing fishing and, uh, and just beautiful scenery, which really makes for great filming as well. So uh, I've got some new kayaks, and I'm actually going to be doing some inshore fishing, which will be fun for you guys that are also trying to learn about inshore stuff because I'm, I'm new to that. I don't know a lot about it, so it's going to be a learning experience for me. And I'll be sharing that with you guys. And so hopefully uh, it will uh, translate over to you guys as well. And you guys will pick up some new things and maybe even be able to teach me some stuff as well uh, by commenting on the videos and stuff. And uh, But really looking forward to that. Stoked about that. 
Stoked about being live right now. I always love LTV Love. I always love connecting with the audience. If you guys are enjoying LTV Live and you're a big fan of the LTV fam or part of the fam, throw us a thumbs up right now, you guys. On the YouTube page, throw the thumbs up. Uh, we're having a good time. Even though I can't see myself right now and I can't see the overlays that Derek's doing back at the office, um, we're going. We're all believing in each other right now. So if you're enjoying it, just put that thumbs up. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. All you got to do is hit that thumbs up, drive those things up. Hopefully, I get a message here from Justin in a second that says we're getting a ton of thumbs up. So uh, I'm expecting you guys to see that because we have a giveaway coming here in just a minute. But before we do the giveaway... I'm going to do a quick unboxing, okay? I'm going to go through the baits here in uh, the XL box, um, go through the baits really quickly, and then throughout the show, we're going to go through these baits and break them down a little bit more detail um, so you guys can understand a little bit more. So anyway, guys, um, Fish Out Magazine, Chad Pipkin, um, you guys, uh, this is this magazine is built to uh, to go parallel to the baits in the box. So there's always some tips and stuff on, on how to use some of these baits in the box. And then also uh, directs you over to our YouTube channel because uh, we make how-to videos for every one of the products that come in the vast boxes. So make sure if you, get, if you pick out a bait and you go, shoot, I don't, I don't know if I like buzz baits. I don't, I, don't, I don't believe in them. I don't think they work. Go check out our videos. The whole thing is we put baits in here that actually work, I promise you. Check out the videos. You'll see us having success with them. You'll see us break down as easy as we can for you, and uh, hopefully you learn some stuff. So the BD Buzzbait, I'm going to kind of go through these really quickly. Um, uh, the Big Bites Coontail, really, really like this worm. You guys, our last Big Bites worm we had was a huge success, and I think you guys are going to really like this one. Biwa has been a huge partner of ours. The uh, War Max, looking forward to talking about that. Uh, the War Axe, looking forward to talking about that in just a second. Um... The Lunker Hunt Kraken Jerkbait, great little bait. Uh, Lunker Hunt, great, great company that we paired up with, and they have been coming out with some fantastic lures and putting them in the box. Uh, must add grip pin hooks. Guys, these are great hooks for uh, both these soft plastics you got in. That's going to be one of your go-to hooks. That style of hook is a very versatile, uh, high hookup, uh, easy-to-use hook that uh, I'll talk about a little bit more uh, a little bit later. Um, we got the Unfair Lures Jerkbait. That's going to be for you XL box people. Um, that's the one that's uh, that. That's one of the two baits that came in there. And then also, you guys will see that there was a surprise bait. So uh, everyone, uh, not everyone got a different bait. There was many different versions of what the surprise bait went out. Um, and so I've got a deep dive and crank bait here. But uh, what we're going to talk about later on, we're going to award uh, $1,000. So there was a contest on this $1,000 bait surprise. So uh, you were supposed to take your surprise bait, take a picture of it, show us uh, the fish's mouth, show us you using it, whatever. You, to be creative about it, you're supposed to hashtag um, LTB1K bait. And tonight we're going to be awarding a, a winner. So that's going to be one of the last baits we talk about. And we're going to announce uh, which picture won on social media is going to get 1000 bucks. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And uh, bait mate, you guys, this stuff's uh, really good attractant. I'm a strong believer in scent. I'll tell you a little shortcut on how to use that a little bit later. Um, LTB decal sticker. Everyone loves these stickers. We are uh, constantly mixing them up, so expect a new sticker uh, every single month. You guys will get something new. So that's what's in the box. That was the May box. Remember, guys, that uh, June is going to be the first theme box. That's going to be the summer baits. But I know... You guys, thinking at home, Travis, it's that time. It is time for our first giveaway. So this is how we're going to do this. First, we're going to ask a question. And so you guys have got to uh, answer in the comments section. And we're going to pick the first right answer. We're looking for three winners. We're going to pick the first right answer. And then we're going to randomly select uh, two other right answers. The reason we do this is so that everyone gets a chance to win. A lot of times we are finding that the people that responded first were the same ones every time just because they had a faster connection. So we wanted to level the playing field, so we're rewarding the fastest one and then randomly selecting two others. And uh, then once we do that, then I'm going to announce the golden ticket winners. So make sure you guys have your golden tickets out because I'm going to be announcing those numbers real quick. So, oh, I like this. Every winner right now, so we're going to have three winners of the question, three right answers, and then we're going to have three golden ticket winners. All of them are going to receive Daiwa Reels. I like that price. That is not too shabby. So here we go. For the first question, 
<laughs> I've already mentioned this a couple times. What is the first themed box that Lucky Tackle Box is doing? Go. What is the first theme box Lucky Tackle Box is doing? And uh, I'm sure uh, some answers are already up. Give you guys a couple more seconds to put your answers. Justin's going to be tallying them up, and he's going to send me over a text here in just a minute. Um, now we're going to go to the golden ticket winner. So everybody grab out their golden ticket. And I'm going to read you off three numbers. So we're getting three winners of Daiwa Reels. So these are long numbers. These are going to be six-digit numbers right now. So here we go. Um, 168568. So 168,568. 168,568. Second winner, 189,299. 189,299. And third winner, 179,005. 179,005. And the, Justin, I'm looking at what you're, uh, Putting in the winners. I think you're putting in the wrong. There we go. And I need to know where they put this, uh, where they send this. Okay, guys, if you're one of the uh, golden ticket winners, you're going to uh, send a picture of your golden ticket and you're going to email it to prizes, prizes, P-R-I-Z-E-S, prizes at luckytacklebox.com. And now for the three winners of the question, the, the answer was best summer baits. The theme for next month, our first theme box is best summer baits. Okay, now the winners of the, uh, the the first answer right was Jordan Moody. Congratulations, Jordan. I think I just saw you on social media a little bit earlier on our Facebook feed. So uh, nice work, man. And uh, Stacy Beck is our second winner. Carlton Jones, our third winner. So if you are one of those three names or you're one of the three ticket numbers, make sure you email prizes at luckytacklebox.com. Let them know what you won. Let them know your mailing address so that we can send you the prize and you are good to go. So let's move on with the show. One giveaway done. Oh, and I think that Derek, we have, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but we've got some uh, Lucky Taco Box, some hashtag Lucky Taco Box. You guys send in some great photos. We love that you guys are sharing your fishing adventures. I scroll through this nonstop hashtag Lucky Taco Box. Um, I love when you guys go out there, you do your fishing, you're, you're sharing your catches, your adventures, uh, the experience. Even when you guys are unboxing, uh, I love seeing all these creative photos you guys send in. So, Derek, I think you got some uh, photos you are going to scroll through right now. And they are up. Derek is posting them right now. Um, so, guys, please keep these photos coming in. We love looking through these. Um, that's why we love showing these up right now because uh, it's, it's a – it's part of a learning experience. Uh, I have a, a huge passion. Anyone knows me knows I have an extreme passion for bass fishing and fishing in general. And the other side of that is I have an extreme passion in sharing information, teaching people. And I get uh, just as mount, just as big a joy of putting somebody on a bass as I do catching my own bass. It's, it's a lot of fun. And, and through Lucky Tackle Box, through this box, I've been able to do this with a huge audience, with a, a lot of people. And we get these pictures back. It really... it. I love seeing them, and everyone at the office loves seeing them as well. We get a huge kick out of them, so please keep hashtagging Lucky Tackle Box, and uh, whatever you guys think we want to see, hashtag, pick a picture and hashtag it, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, any of those uh, any of those events, or any of those platforms. So, moving right along, what's the first mate we're going to fire up here? The BD Buzz, okay? Yes, this is, uh, the BD series is, stands for Boy Duckett, and he's got a picture of his beautiful little mug right there. Um, let's get right into this, too. Because this is, a buzz bait is, a, uh, is something I really enjoy talking about, um, especially uh, there's a lot of people that don't feel confident throwing them. And every single year when we do buzz bait videos, I get so many comments of people saying, man, I, I finally went through it for the first time. You convinced me to do it, and uh, I caught my biggest fish. I caught, uh, I had so much fun. I can't believe how good of a bait this is. You guys, buzzbait fishing can be, uh, can be very, very productive. And if you want a high percentage area, a high percentage bait that'll to catch the bigger fish in your ponds and your little lakes, um, this is it. 
when you walk up even to a little golf pond or whatever little neighborhood pond you're fishing from the shore, this should be the first bait you pick up uh, for a couple different reasons. For some reason, that little clanking buzz bait, that top water, that is a magnet to that big old nasty bass that's in that lake that wants to feed on the bigger stuff. And the other thing is you can huck this a long ways. So when you walk up to a, a small little pond or lake, you should be able to cast pretty much all the way across the lake. So you make a few casts. This, that's why this should be the first bait you pick up. You make a few casts and you've really covered the whole lake and you either, it, the fish has either shown itself, you caught a big one or you didn't. Then you go back to your normal fishing, whatever you were planning on doing. But if you keep doing that, if you just promise every time you go to the lake, uh, you know, spring, summer, uh, even into the fall, uh, if you do that, I promise you're going to end up, your your overall results of the big quality of fish you're catching is going to go up just by making a few casts right away. For you guys that are fishing, um, if you guys that are actually fishing out in the lakes, got a lot more water, pick this up. This bait um, has a lot of, lot of potential. Um, the ideal conditions I like to throw it in is low light. So low light comes in many, many different forms. The first being first thing in the morning. As that sun's just coming up, you know, it's not as light up out there. These fish, they'll come shallow. They're really hunting out things because fish like to hunt in low light. They feel more comfortable. They have a better chance of ambushing their prey. So low light first thing in the morning, low light uh, last thing in the evening. As that sun's going down, we're getting that low light. Those fish are going to be more active. Uh, if there's a little bit of ripple on the water, a little bit of chop. That, um, that If you've ever been underwater, um, you'll see that when there's a little chop on that water, it actually displaces the light. That light comes in, it scatters it all over the place, and it's uh, it's not as, it doesn't seem as calm down there. There's all these little strobe lights basically going on. Bass move up shallow. Once again, they feel comfortable. They have a better chance at ambushing the prey because they can sneak up on things better. Um, probably the best uh, other condition to throw this is cloud cover. If you have a little, uh, if you have a nice little uh, front move through that's, um, especially uh, a little warm weather uh, front move in. I know I'm in uh, Kentucky right now. We've got real humid days, uh, lots of cloud cover, a little bit of rain on and off. Buzz bait would be fantastic right now. The other thing is I put a little trailer. Um, usually when I put a trailer uh, bait on here, it is, it's, I want to match the size of the bait, the bait fish in that lake. So if there's really small shad, I'll put a tiny little swim bait uh, shad imitation bait. If there's bigger bait or it's a big fish lake, I'll put a big old, uh, you know, horny toad. I'll put a big swim bait, some big trailer. So it'll give it a bigger profile because these fish come up. When you watch the YouTube video, you'll see that you can really see that tail underwater and that these fish, this, the blade really attracts them. But when they hone in on that, they want to go for that meaty part. And that's going to be your trailer. The other thing is I put a trailer hook on this and I'm not going to go too much into that. But if you, if you watch the YouTube video we put up, um, you'll see how to put on a trailer. Those are available at any of your local tackle shops as well as going over to tackle warehouse so uh you guys buzz baits i want to hear uh go to the youtube video and watch it um and if you have any success make sure you comment on there or if you don't if you have some problems and questions um also ask them on the uh on the youtube comments because i will go through there i make sure i answer all those uh because i want to get you guys in the right direction the buzz bait is a, is a very rewarding bait to use and i want to make sure you guys are using it correctly and with confidence next one Guys, big bite baits. Um, yes, we had the squirrel tail. I think the squirrel tail was about, I don't know, I want to say about five months ago. Maybe five months ago. That sounds about right. Six months. Time always goes by fast, so I'm always a little short on my time. But um, uh, you guys love the squirrel tail by Jeff Creep. Um, and uh, this is another bait out of big bite baits. Um, a lot of cool little features here. Uh, a bigger profile. Um, why is a bigger profile good? Bigger profile. Fish sometimes they want a bigger looking bait. If if the forage in the lake is is bigger, meatier little uh, crawdads, shad, they're honed in on those bigger uh, bigger food sources, and that's what they want to see a little bigger profile like this. Um, and the other thing is, see these little ribs that it's got. These are great at displacing water. So is this bait? If you rig it up, uh, drop shot. If you rig it up, rig it up, wacky rig. I love this technique. You guys are like this. Uh, just putting. Um, they have wacky rig, weighted wacky rig hooks, but you can even use like a ball head, um, little jig head or, or any kind of darter head. All you do is just hook this, use about a quarter ounce weight, hook the hook right through the middle, toss it out. This bait has so much action. You can just hop it off the bottom. Both ends are wiggling. It's a great way to use it. Or like I did in the video, I just put a uh, ball head jig 
right up uh, right up through the head right there and and just fished it um, just hopped it and dragged it on the bottom caught a bunch of fish um, because you just you're displacing a lot of water those little segments are really moving a lot of water and fish really hone into that um, they, they use their lateral lines that's what their lateral lines are to pick up on vibrations on movement around them and this moves a lot of water and uh, yes I know you guys are gonna like this this is gonna work for you you know, straight through the fall. This, this will work year round. So definitely uh, go experiment, get used to using it. I always recommend using these baits in shallow water too, clear water or your bathtub, testing them out. Uh, if you have a pool, if you're fortunate enough to have a pool, um, throw these baits in your pool. You want to see how they work or watch their videos. If you go to YouTube, you'll see how these baits look underwater. But if you want to rig them different ways or, or make sure yours is running right or, or looks like the one in the video, make sure you go test it out. It's very important to know that you've rigged these baits right and it's doing what you think they're supposed to be doing. Um, and uh, Big Bite Baits has been a great partner of ours. We're going to keep working with them because you guys, uh, we've gotten such a great response every single time that, uh, that we, it's, the relationship with Big Bites and Lucky Tackle Box has been great. They're going to keep supplying us with new baits. They've got a, a lot of cool new baits coming out. That they're going to keep putting in the box, getting to you guys. Um, anyway, I think it is back to that time. We're coming up on, on another giveaway. But like I said, uh, if you guys are enjoying the show, if you're enjoying the giveaways, if you're enjoying the information, give us a thumbs up right now. Hit that thumbs up at the bottom of the screen. I want to keep seeing these thumbs up go up throughout the show. We love getting the interaction. And uh, I'm also, because I can't actually see the live feed, Justin, make sure you're uh, going through these questions. If you're seeing any good comments or questions on there, um, text it over to me and, uh, and I'll make sure to answer those because I want to make sure that any concerns you guys have that we are answering those. Um, also, uh, I know that on this show, we get a lot of uh, questions about the box, how to order, um, where they can, uh, if they've got uh, customer service uh, complaints or, or concerns, anything like that, you guys can email um, support at luckytacklebox.com. So if you email support at luckytacklebox.com, um, they, I think it's about a 24 hour turnaround right now. We've really, we've really uh, ramped that up. And so any questions you have on that, make sure you send it over there. They'll get back to you and they will make things right. They, they really are good. If, if, if you got the wrong bait, if something wasn't correct, they will make it right for you guys. So that's important to uh, keep in mind. So let's do giveaway number two. It is time. What are we giving away here? <laughs> Daiwa rods. All right. So we just gave away uh, six Daiwa reels. Now let's give away six Daiwa rods. So we're going to give three rods away to uh, the right answer to the question I'm about to ask. And then I'm going to announce three golden ticket winners that are also going to win three Daiwa rods. Um, and like before, we're going to pick the first right answer and then the first, uh, I mean, and then two random correct answers. So, are you guys ready for the question? Oh, and the question is, nice, this is uh, off the box. We're going to get to this in a little bit. Um, which Lunker Hunt jerkbait is named after a mythical sea creature? Which Lunker Hunt jerkbait is named after a mythical sea creature? I'll give you a hint. That jerkbait was in the box this month. So we're waiting for three correct answers on that. I'll give you guys just a second here. All right, guys. It's the G ticket. Golden ticket time. Pull out your tickets. And I'm going to announce three winning golden tickets that are going to get Daiwa rods. Where are we at here? All right. First golden ticket winner, 186950. 186950. Second golden ticket winner, 163335. 163335. And the third golden ticket winner, winning a dial rod, 178102. 178102. Okay, now I'm going to announce the correct, and I'm going to tell you guys where to email in just a second. Uh, well, Justin isn't, hasn't picked the winners yet. So, guys, um, if you are one of the golden ticket winners or you're one of the names I call, so here we go. The three correct answers. The first correct answer was Aaron Wolbach. Aaron Wolbach, uh, W-O-L-B-A-C-H, Aaron Wolbach. Second winner, 
um, the best. <laughs> their, their YouTube name is the best. So congratulations, you're the best, even though you're a second winner. So you're at second. You are the best. You are the winner. Um, and then third, Sean Polch, Polka. Sean Polka, spelled P-O-L-C-H-A, C-H-A. Um, so there's six winners there, the three golden ticket winners and the three winners I just announced with the correct answer. All you guys need to send an email to prizes at luckytacklebox.com. Remember, prizes at luckytacklebox.com. And, uh, and you, if you have the golden ticket, you got to send a picture of your golden ticket so we can verify the number. Um, if you're one of the names, make sure you uh, put your YouTube name, connect your YouTube name to that email address as well. And all of you guys include your mailing address so we can mail you out a Daiwa rod. Congratulations on winning, guys. And let's move on. Right now, we've got Instagram. Let's check out our Instagrammer, Instagramma Mama Jamma. Derek, if you are ready, cue up the Instagram video. Are back you guys uh, lucky tackle box uh, we love social media that's a big part of the job uh, that I do is, is connecting with different people on social media and, and creating our own content and that's like I said what we uh, created LTB media for um, and uh, right there you saw one of our Instagram partners as well we have a whole lot of Instagram partners you're gonna see one of our team lucky youtubers uh, a little bit later in the show as well let's get back into our box Hope you guys are having a good time right now. I am. It's a Saturday night. I appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Um, I know I would not. I would. I would not rather be anywhere else than hanging out with you guys. Um, you know, and it's dark outside, so there's no way I'd be out fishing right now. So this is a great way. If I'm not fishing, I love talking about it, and uh, that's what I'll be doing bright and early uh, tomorrow morning as well. What is our next bait? The next bait. Oh, I didn't even say the winner. I didn't even say what the actual uh, name was. And it is the Kraken. The uh, the answer to that last question, guys, was the Kraken. And that is the bait that I am going to talk about as soon as I figure out what I'm doing. Hmm. Um, okay, guys. Lunkrat jerkbait. This is a floating jerkbait. Why... Do you want a floating jerkbait? Well, in the springtime, we talked about um, that pause. We talked about, um, you know, you want a suspending jerkbait because you're working that bait, you're, you're attracting them with that erratic motion, but then when that pause happens, you want that bait to suspend so that fish has time to react and come hit it. Well, um, in the summer, that's a little bit different story. And... Uh, so in the summertime, you're getting a lot more uh, vegetation. Uh, the fish are moving a lot shallower, so they don't necessarily need those suspending baits. And a floating bait can uh, can come in a lot more um, can be a lot more uh, advantageous uh, advantageous for you. And so what you're doing is on a jerk bait when you're fishing a jerk bait. This is so important, you guys. And and a lot of guys, especially starting out, do this incorrectly. You want to make quick jerks okay so your jerk it's a jerk bait you're making those quick jerks but you want to do it on slack line and uh, what does that mean it's like a, a, it's so the reality is if you have tight line and you're jerking it you're actually just going to pull that bait it's going to pull and it's going to pull but instead if if you reel that line kind of tight and then you drop your rod just a little bit so there's now a little bit of bow in that line and you whip it you snap it so you as you Jerk, once it hits tight, once it, the line goes tight, you're already letting you're already letting that rod uh, return to the starting spot so that line goes slack again. What happens is it yanks that bait into motion, but then when you give it that slack, that bait's able to kind of go wherever it wants, and that's what creates the erratic motion. It doesn't, you don't know where it's going to go. You want, it, you want that bait to really uh, 
jerk back and forth and just really dart around and it looks like some kind of bait that's having problems. It looks like some kind of bait fish that, that might be dying, that might be trying to you know get its last little bits of life, but the reality is that it attracts the fish. That triggers, that's a predator. The bass, all they do is they look to feed 99% of the year and then they go to spawn. That's all they do. Um, and they, they don't hang out. They don't have social lives. They're not taking selfies. All they're doing is thinking about eating the majority of the time. And even when they're on their beds uh, spawning, they are thinking about protecting their, their uh, beds. And so they're attacking stuff. So they're always looking to hunt and eat something. And so when you're throwing that jerk bait, that erratic motion, that predator goes, it, it, it catches its attention. And they go, what is that? And so that's where these jerk baits can be incredibly, um, uh, they can really get some great results for you. And, uh, and you can have a lot of fun. And so uh, floating, uh, definitely a little bit, uh, I definitely lean towards floating baits uh, this time of the year. You know, you can throw them right up in shallow water, um, jerk them out real uh, real nice, and, and they're not, you can, when you pause, they're going to float up a little bit. So you can go over little weed lines and things. I'm going to talk a little bit more about how to throw jerk baits in a little bit here. But a uh, great little bait, Lunker Hunt, has uh, amazing looking uh, lures as well. They put a lot of time into their imaging, their colors, um, you know, and how they run. So a, a quality, quality company there. You're going to have fun with those jerk baits. Next bait, I want to make sure that uh, as I'm doing these baits, they're matching up to the uh, graphics that we're showing on the screen right now. Biwa, the War Axe. Um, love this company. Love, love, love Biwa. Uh, Zach is, is one of the guys that runs Biwa Baits. He has been a big believer in, in getting uh, his baits out to you guys, and it's really, you guys have helped Biwa Baits grow to a big company over the last year and a half. Um, they got on with us early on with Lucky Tackle Box and have had great results because you guys have enjoyed their baits. They make quality stuff, and uh, they were a new, smaller company in the industry uh, a few years back and have really made a huge push. They're a major name, uh, and they've become a big company, and it's and it's partly uh, because their involvement with Lucky Tackle Box and getting these baits to you guys. And uh, So they are doing something fun as well. So if you guys get these baits, I'm going to talk about kind of more how to throw it and everything in just a second, but... Um, when you guys go out and use your baits, um, on Instagram, they're doing a thing where if you hashtag, uh, what is the hashtag? I think it should be on the screen right now, but it is uh, at BWA, uh, or if you tag them, at BWA underscore USA, at BWA underscore USA, um, and send them pictures. Send them a cool picture of the bait, uh, a cool picture of it in the fish's mouth, whatever you think. Uh, whatever whatever you think they might want to see, just try to take a cool picture using the war axe. Um, it can be if you catch a fish. It can be a short clip of you catching a fish with it. And uh, they are going to pick some winners and give out some cool prizes because they love um, they love finding out what people enjoy using their products and making sure they have some more of it. So anyway, guys, um, slim little profile. Uh, as we go into these, uh, you know, post spawn uh, into summer, these fish are shallow. They're going to be used in the vegetation. Grass is growing. It's warm. Uh, there's a lot of plant life, and uh, there's a lot of gunk piles. There's a lot of areas that these fish are going to be hiding under and in things, and you need a punch-style bait. And that's why this bait is it's got a slender profile, because if you put a half ounce all the way up to one and a half ounce my favorite size is about a one ounce three quarters to one ounce usually gets through me through the majority of um of gunk this time of the year because this is for it's a great punch and flipping bait so what you do is you put a bullet weight and that's why this is a little pointed uh head right here is the uh it's supposed to fit right into a um bullet weight right there so it fits snug because when and then you want to peg that weight so you can use a bobber stop you can even use a toothpick so, guys, when I say peg a weight, that means you just want to make that weight, make sure it stays still. It's going to stay right with that bait. And Because uh, the reason being is when you put a bullet weight on, it slides up and down the line, right? Well, if you're flipping in heavy stuff, you'll flip up onto that mat and you'll try to shake that bait into that into the grass or into whatever stuff is floating on the surface. As you shake it through, the weight will fall through and the weight just falls through by itself. So if you make sure that weight is pegged to the bait so it's it's not going to slide down, when that weight goes through the whatever junk pile you're throwing up on, the whole thing will get pulled through and you're going to be fishing it efficiently and effectively. Um, now, uh, Nick made a fantastic video that we uploaded last night. So if you guys want to learn a little bit more about the uh, pitching and flipping this bait, um, check out his video. Uh, it's, you guys, pitching or basically punching 
such an important technique. You would be absolutely amazed. Bass love being shallow. When bass go shallow, they have a higher percentage of being able to catch their prey. If if you're in wide open water, if we're in that, you know, if we're in the middle, if you swim down and you're just in the middle of the water column and you're trying to chase something, it can flee in any direction, right? It can go any up, down, left, right. It can go an infinity amount of directions. But when you get into shallower water, there is less room. You can only go so high. You can only go so low. So there's less room to escape. So that's why bass love going shallow because if they can hunt their prey up shallow, that bait can only go left or right. So now it's it's minimized how many different directions it can go. So it's using the that bottom that that we call it skinnier water. It's using it to its advantage. But bass don't like to be exposed. They don't like to be just up sitting there up shallow. Uh, you know, when you if you walk down the bank, you see a fish up shallow. The second it sees you, it usually takes off unless it's locked on a nest. But if there's some kind of trash or some kind of tree limbs that have floated in and been pushed by the wind into the shallow, that fish, those bass love being underneath that and feeling comfortable. Um, and any kind of grass that's up shallow, any kind of grass growing, they'll be in there because they feel like they're they're hidden. They don't feel as exposed. And that's where punching and pitching really come into handy. And a, and a great little bait like this uh, war axe really comes into play. So uh, once again, if you guys want a lot more detail, Nick the Informative Fisherman, one of the uh, one of the one of our time's best instructors. Uh, Nick has is, is got more information than, uh, than I'd say any other angler I've ever met. The guy absolutely is a plethora of fishing facts. He, he doesn't, I don't think he ever forgets. He might be an elephant. He's never forgotten a single fishing fact that he's learned. And so, and he's great at um, then relaying that to, uh, to any of you guys watching his videos. So make sure to check out that on the Lucky Tackle Box YouTube page after we're, uh, after we're done here tonight. He'll really break that down into more detail. But it's giveaway time. We are, this, is, this hour is flying by for me. If you, guys, if you guys are having a good time, give me the thumbs up. Let's hit some more thumbs up right now. I really want to get that thumbs up going. I want to get some kind of interaction because I can't, I can't measure this anywhere else. I can't see the comments right now. So throw a thumbs up. Hopefully I see a lot of thumbs up uh, at the end of this. And, uh, and I'll know that you guys enjoyed the show because uh, a lot goes into this. We always try to keep things entertaining. We try to build the Lucky Tackle Box culture as much as possible. So let's get some questions going. What are we giving away now? Oh, I think I know what we're giving away. Yes, we are going to give away. Oh, and you know what? That reminds me. Guys, we have opened up our new store, okay? Um, hopefully, you guys are aware of that. But if not, I can be the first. Here's what I've been looking for. Okay. We opened up a new online store. So we've got the hats, shirts, all kinds of stuff. We've got the buffs, some killer buffs for you guys to wear. The, uh, the sun's coming out. It's really getting uh, warmed up with summer. You want to make sure you guys are protecting yourself from the sun. Uh, really got some cool LTV swag, and I love seeing when people are wearing that stuff. I'm always, if you guys see me, I'm always, I, I threw away all my other T-shirts. I think I own three, maybe four shirts, I promise you, that do not say Lucky Tackle Box on. I probably have 15 to 20 shirts, dress shirts, uh, UV shirts, uh, and then a bunch of t-shirts that say Lucky Tackle Box. Pretty much all my gear is, if you see my boat, it says Lucky Tackle Box all over it. I love pulling up to a bank, seeing a guy on the lake, fishing that have, that's re repping the LTB swag. So it's been a lot of fun. I'm really glad we finally got that going out. Um, for all of you guys that, that got a box this month, you got a $5 uh, coupon. So if you guys go to the online store at Lucky Tackle Box, get $5 off your purchase. So you can rep your LTV swag. And that was a very long segue into what we're giving away right now uh, because we're going to be giving away for the first uh, for the three right answers, we're giving away an LTV swag pack. So you're going to get um, a shirt, a hat, and a face shield. Okay, so there's going to be three winners. They're going to win a shirt, a hat, and a face. Uh, the buffs, and so uh, and then the golden ticket winners are going to win a three month subscription. I like that. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to ask a question. We're looking for the three right answers. First right answer, and then two randoms. What LTV Pro was on the cover of this month's Fishhound Magazine? We mentioned them earlier. What LTV Pro was on the cover of this month's Fishhound Magazine? Go. Give you guys just a second to put your answer. Let those scroll down. And then everybody gets your golden tickets up. 
I'm hoping, I wish all of you guys could win. I wish every single person watching could win because I love giving away stuff. All right, guys. I'm going to announce three winners right now for the golden ticket. And this is for a three-month subscription to Lucky Tackle Box of your choosing. So three of you guys are going to win three subscription, three-month subscription to Lucky Tackle Box. First number, 163282. 163282. Second winner, 175068. 175068. And the third golden ticket winner of a three-month subscription to Lucky Tackle Box of their choosing, 199664. 199664. And the correct answer, the LTV Pro that was on this month's Fish Out Magazine, Chad Pipkins. Chad Pipkins representing the uh, Lunker Hunt Bates. Um, he is one of the, he is a Lunker Hunt pro as well, and he's the one ripping the shirt off. I like that cover uh, shot of him. Um, so the three right answer, or the three winners for that are going to be, first right answer, Chris Smith. Chris Smith. Second right answer, Scott Geist. Scott Geist, G-E-I-S-T. And the third right answer, Michigan Angler. Michigan Angler. So if you were one of those names I just called, or one of the golden ticket winners, email Prizes at LuckyTackleBox.com. Prizes, P-R-I-Z-E-S, at LuckyTackleBox.com. If you are one of the golden ticket winners, take a picture of the golden ticket. Um, include that in the email. And also, for everyone who won, put your mailing address so that we can send you out your prize package. We've got one giveaway left, guys. We're coming down to the last, last, sec uh, last segment of the show. And uh, we're going to be giving away... Uh, we're, in this last thing, we're going to be announcing a $1,000 winner for the uh, surprise bait in this month's box. We are going to be giving away some more gift cards. We're going to be giving away a ton of uh, LTV boxes. And then we're going to be crowning the grand prize, the, the golden ticket winner, which is going to win a trip with yours truly. So, so let's get down to it here. We've got about uh, roughly about 10, 12 minutes until we uh, go to that final giveaway. All right, we're going to do the Mustad hook, and then we're going to do the YouTube video here. Um, Mustad, straight shank hooks. Um, you know, the, it's the grip pin edge. Oh, let's pull one out here. It's important that you guys see why these hook keepers are good. I'm going to show you how to rig this. It's gonna, bear with me a sec, you guys, because uh, some of you guys know how to rig these weedless, know how to use these. And, uh, and, but if you guys watch what I'm going to do, this is something that I didn't always know. And I'm glad I learned this. I was, I was taught this uh, a few years back, but okay. So when you rig this worm, let me make sure that you guys can see this here. Okay. You're going to go through the nose and you're going to come out, I'd say about a quarter of an inch. Okay. So I've come out a quarter of an inch. Now, what the, the trick that I learned, and so you go, you normally just pull it through, turn it around and you're in, right? Now, what I was taught actually is to churn this bait sideways as you pull it through, okay? So I've churned that hook. Do you guys see that it's going to come in at a different angle now? So once I pull it down and through, then I churn that, that tab back to what the original uh, position facing back into that worm is. And that way, I didn't tear up that worm as much. There's not as much tearing. There's not as much. It hasn't been weakened all that much, so it's going to hold up a little bit longer. Then what I do is I, I match that hook up with the worm right there, okay, because I want this hook to be straight. I want the worm to still be straight when, it's, uh, when I'm working it, okay? So I match that up, and I figure out where it's going to come through on the worm, and that's where I actually want to put this hook through. So I put it all the way through. It's come through on the other side. And then what I do is I skin hook it. I don't know if you guys can even see this. And I show this on the videos and stuff. We've got a lot of videos doing this. But then I just barely skin hook that tip of that hook. So right now, you can't feel the tip of the hook. It's just barely, it's barely skin hooked in there. Now you got your straight hook there. And that little, uh, that little grip pin edge, that's what they, uh, that, that's going to help keep that 
worm from sliding down because if you guys if you guys are fishing throughout the day and you, and you don't have that little uh tag in there um you are really going to end up uh that, that worm keeps sliding down and you're not going to get good hook sets and stuff so uh, a great little feature it's a very big uh um you know worm holder there and, and so you guys should really like that uh, Mustad makes a wide variety of hooks. Uh, that grip pin edge is definitely one. You want a wide gap uh, grip pin as well, and then also a good flipping one. The uh, the flipping hooks are just a little bit stouter. That's a thinner wire hook right there that I just showed. That's good for your soft plastic, for your little worms, a drop shotting, uh, Texas rig. But when you're throwing that heavy cover, when you're using heavier line, bigger rods, you want to have a stouter, that flipping hook that isn't going to flex. You don't, when you really lace that, when you hook, have a hard hook set on a heavy rod, heavy line, that uh, a lighter wire hook will actually have a little flex in it, and that fish may come unbuttoned. You want a hook that really digs, you get a good hook set on. So um, that is the Mustad Grip Pin Edge Hook. Let's go to one of our YouTube videos. This is a guy that's been a YouTuber press for quite a while, Colton at Twig and Timber. Let's check out his profile. Um, unfair lures, they're jerk bait. Cool little bait. I, I like when companies uh, kind of go the extra mile and try try doing things. Uh, try stacking the deck in, in their favor. And this uh, unfair lures has really done quite a lot of little uh, modifications to a uh, jerk bait here. Um, I almost hooked myself too. So um, one of the things is they've got the little flakes. Uh, you'll see the little sparkly stuff on top, um, and it, it, that's going to reflect. That isn't just sprinkles like a donut. That's actually going to reflect light, and that's really, uh, really big. When, as this light, the sunlight's coming down, it's going to reflect. It's going to mimic scales. Um, the other thing is it's got the um, – it's got – I like this. It's got the gills. This is supposed to be like little uh, uh, gills, little flared bloody gills. When fish can see red – they know that that's, that's an opportunity. And, and I really like that that's what's showing because that when fish are feeding, when they're coming out this thing, you know, you've jerked it, you've got their attention, that fish is coming up. It still isn't fully committed. It might not eat this bait. It's thinking a lot of things that's coming up at this bait. It's thinking, okay, which way is it going to try to dart out? What's my best chance of getting it? And if it comes up here for whatever reason, doesn't think it's, uh, it doesn't think it's something it wants to eat, it won't open its mouth. It won't hit it. Um, and when you have all these little variables like the, uh, the little flakes uh, that are reflecting, the little uh, red gills, that's just that much more of an advantage you're giving yourself. That fish isn't going to change his mind last second and not actually uh, explode on that bait. Um, and uh, they also have a swivel attached. This is going to give a, a little bit more action. As you're working that bait, it's going to allow a little bit more freedom for that bait to uh, move around a little bit more erratic. Um, the other thing is... Uh, when you guys are fishing this time of the year, um, these fish are shallow. We talked about this. It's a floating bait. There's a floating jerk bait as well. Um, when these fish are shallow, say, say on the grass. So say you have, you know, say you're fishing in five feet of water, right? And you got grass, and maybe that grass is growing up to about three feet. So you still have two feet between where the grass is and where the top of the water is. And 
when you're throwing a jerk bait, if you just jerk it, jerk, 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 this bait might dig into the grass and you're going to snag up. But if you can keep this bait where you just jerk it just enough and you're letting that bait float, you jerk it again, let it float, jerk, and you're just, you get that cadence that it's just going just above that grass. Maybe even if you, if you really do it right, you can actually snag that grass. Every once in a while, one of those hooks will snag a piece of grass and, and pop free. That is the best thing you can do with a jerkbait this time of year because those fish are down there. They're in the holes. They're looking up and waiting for stuff that's scurrying along, bluegill, shadow, whatever. They're in that grass. If you can get a bait right in that grass, right on the tips right there, you will get just annihilated. You will be absolutely amazed. So whereas, you know, in the springtime and stuff, you're throwing those suspending baits. You're, you're throwing them off, uh, you know, little secondary points and things and really trying to get fish to come up and blast on it. This one, you're trying to work a little bit more around the cover, a little bit above the grass lines or anytime there's wind. If you got a windy bank, you fire this bait right up shallow as you can and you work it out from that windy uh, bank and you'd be amazed how many fish are going to be right there waiting for stuff coming off there. Um, wind is... Uh, I, I got to share this point with you guys. I'm, I'm, you're going to hear me say this a million times because it's very important. Um, I used to avoid the wind. Wind is a pain in the butt to fish, right? I hate fishing it. Uh, most of you guys do too. But the reality is, especially in the warmer months, um, there's going to be algae blooms. Shad feed on the algae. They feed on the little, the little, uh, the little tiny stuff that, that grows in the warmer water. Now, um, in the warmer months, in the summertime. Uh, that algae floats to the surface. In, when it's warm, it floats. In the colder nights, it sinks back down to the bottom. So what you're going to see in the summertime, this also in the fall, is that uh, algae floats to the surface. That'll bring the, the bait fish, the little shad, up to the surface as well. They're going to be feeding. They make easy targets. When those shad are looking up, that's a great time for a fish to come up behind it, scoop it up, no problem, the easiest meal they've ever had. Now, when it's windy, it takes all that floating algae and pushes it up against a bank, right? And so when that uh, when that that food that the shad are feeding on goes up against the bank, the shad follow. A lot of people think the wind pushes the shad up against the bank. That's not necessarily true. It pushes the food the shad are fishing are, are feeding on against the bank, which the, the the result is the same. The shad are up against the windy bank, so it doesn't really matter the full detail on that. But however, when you have a windy bank, bass know that there is going to be food up on that bank, and they're going to be up there shallow looking to uh, ambush that those little shad. And that's a perfect time to throw that jerk bait. Um, Let's get into our last bait, and then we're going to do our final giveaway. The, and then the what? Oh, well, now we're doing our surprise, uh, surprise bait. All right, guys, so I can't see, but uh, you guys got a lot of different variations of your surprise bait. So the, you guys that got this and participated, uh, you hashtagged, uh, took a picture of your bait, took a picture of a fish's mouth, or however you want to do it. You sent your pictures, and we got a ton of pictures, hashtagging LTB1K bait. The winner was going to get $1,000. So Derek is going to be putting up the winner right now. Derek, you got to let me know. Is there actually a name on that? Does, how do we... Uh, Oh, Alan Robinson. Okay. Alan Robinson, you just won a thousand bucks, man. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> surprise. You got the uh, very expensive surprise bait this month. Um, so, uh, you guys, that's just one more thing. We're always trying to involve our, uh, our LTV subscribers, and it's another way for us to have fun and uh, get to see what you guys are out there, get a peek on how you guys are fishing and stuff like that. So, congratulations to Alan. Um, for you guys that didn't win the $1,000 this month, we are constantly going to be doing new missions and new things for you guys to participate um, where we'll have even more winners and stuff for that. And that, my friends, concludes the Lucky Tackle Box. I'm going to throw out one more thing. We had a scent in there. So I'm going to talk about that real quick. Real quick. Because this is important. You guys, when you get the scent, this is a little sample pack. Okay? There's not much in here, but uh, it's definitely, it can last you quite a while, actually. It can last you to your next box for sure. Um, what I do is I'll open this up. Take a little sandwich bag, especially those, you know, the normal sandwich bags about that big, but now they have those new little cutesy uh, little snack sandwich bags that are like long like that. Get, get one of those and pour this, just squeeze all this out in there, seal it shut. Um, when you're out fishing and you've got your worm rigged up, uh, when you got your one of your soft plastics ready to go, what you do is then you dip it um, in that sandwich bag. When it's all rigged up, still attached to your line, all you do is open that sandwich bag, drop that in there. Just move it. You can on the outside of the sandwich bag. You squeeze that. You're gonna get that scent all over it. Pull it out. You're ready to fish with it. Zip lock that uh, that scent, and you're good to go. 
Because when you just try to open this and squeeze it on the bait, all you're going to do is get it all over your boat, your bag, your hands, your clothes, and barely any on the bait, and it's not going to last you very long. So that's a way for you to extend your uh, sense. And a lot of guys on, on the tour level, a lot of pros, this is how they uh, they do their sense because it just keeps everything that much more organized. So I went a little bit over, went two minutes over uh, before I give away, so don't get too mad at me, but I just wanted to show you guys that scent thing. Um, once again, if you guys are going to order the June-themed Summer Baits box, our first theme box, you've got to make sure you do it before the end of May. If you order it on June 1st, you will not get it. If you order June 1st, you're going to get July's box. You've got to order the month before. So I want to make sure we get questions about that every single month. If you guys are planning, if you guys are planning on getting the best Summer Baits, Make sure you subscribe, sign up, renew your membership, whatever you need to do in May so you get that June box. Um, let's go through some winners. Let's ask a last question here. Okay, guys, this is for a $50 gift card to the new LTB online tackle store. So you need a $50 gift card to go spend, get some swag, get whatever you want. I think there's even some boxes you can buy. There's a lot of stuff on there for you to purchase. Um, so... Here is the question. We're looking for the first right answer and then two random right answers. Who is currently number one in BASS Angler of the Year standings? Who is currently ranked number one in the BASS Angler of the Year standings? Um, I, this guy is. Uh, this guy actually. Him and I have quite a past. I, I don't know if, if he understands. If he remembers me, but uh, I interviewed this guy. When I was first starting my, uh, when I was st first starting out in bass fishing, trying to start my own business, so years and years ago, um, this guy's a really cool guy. I'm gonna tell you guys the answer in just a second. But before I go to those, before I announce those winners, let's go to, holy cow, we're giving away, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten golden ticket winners. So everyone, pull out your golden tickets. This is not the grand prize yet. The grand prize is coming up here, but this is for. 10 so each each of these winners is going to get a 50 dollars gift card to our store and we're going to announce 10 winners right now so here we go and i just got out of the screen okay 164011 164011 next winner 171697 171697 third winner 163121 one six three one two one. Fourth winner. One six eight one two two. One six eight one two two. Next winner. One eight four two nine zero. One eight four two nine zero. Next golden ticket winner. One seven four four zero seven. One seven four four zero seven. The next winner. One six nine nine two three. One six nine nine two three. Next one. One six six. 041 Ninth winner 183655 183655 and the tenth and final winner of a fifty dollar gift card 169904 169904 all right guys and let's announce the winners uh Jason Christie is currently number one in the Angler of the Year standings um uh, a great fisherman. He did some interviews for me for a podcast when uh, when I was uh, living with my brothers. All we were all sharing a room out of some little apartment and and doing a whole uh, a lot of things with a company that we started called Bass Hookups. And so uh, Jason really helped us out back then, and, uh, and now he's going on to have a whole lot of success. And uh, and I've crossed paths with him quite a bit of time, uh, quite a bit. And uh, a great guy, really deserving of this uh, title. I hope he uh, finishes it out at the end of this year. Um, Guys, the three winners, Brian Poirier, Brian Poirier, second winner, Jonathan Ruckerson, Jonathan Ruckerson, and the third, Enrique Ayala, Enrique Ayala. Okay, guys, so if you were any of the golden tickets I just announced or the three names I just announced, email prizes at luckytacklebox.com um, and send a picture of your golden ticket and also include your mailing address, and uh, we will send you out a... Uh, a code for the $50 gift card to our LTV store. And uh, any of you guys are welcome to go purchase stuff on the store. You guys, a lot of cool stuff. You should definitely check it out once this is done. But for the moment we've all been waiting for, everyone wants to know the golden ticket, win a trip with me. I'm really looking forward to seeing who this is. Um, 
you know, like I said before, I'm passionate about fishing and I enjoy sharing that passion. It's why I do all these live feeds. It's why I do the YouTube stuff. And, uh, and I enjoy all the feedback because you guys are so, so positive. I enjoy hearing all that positivity from you guys. We have a great family. The LTB fam is a lot of fun. Um, if you guys enjoyed the LTB live, throw us that thumbs up. Hashtag LTB live. I want to see the pictures. I'm going to go through that before I, uh, before I retire for the evening. I'll go through some of those pictures and stuff. Um, so make sure you throw the thumbs up right now, though, on the YouTube uh, page. This is the last chance to throw those uh, thumbs up. And uh, without further ado, let's announce the grand prize, the golden ticket winner. Unfortunately, I, I don't like announcing this to you because I know there's always a lot of disappointed people as well. I know everyone's sitting around, okay, okay, I haven't won yet. It's going to be me. It's going to be me. All right. Here we go, guys. The final grand prize golden ticket winner, 174. 195. 174-195. Congratulations, whoever you are. You and I are going fishing. Um, there's going to be more chances to win. If you didn't win this month, you guys, we, there's going to be plenty more golden tickets next month. And also, uh, all of you guys should feel like winners because you get a box of great baits uh, for uh, well under the price you would have paid to get them uh, if you went to the stores. You get to uh, get all the videos. We're... If you are following the whole program that we have, you should be get, becoming a better and better fisherman every single month and uh, and being able to uh, brag and, and up your selfie pictures and all the different profile pics you've got on social media with bigger fish every single month, you guys. Thank you for watching, and we will see you same place, same time, LTV Live uh, on our YouTube page on June 20th. We're going to be talking the best summer baits, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I will probably be back in the LTB headquarters down in Southern California for that one. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we will see you next time. Peace.